Cheers to another episode of Milton Daily Homes. My name is Chuck. We have 24 listings in this list. So we have a lot of ways we can help you. And either be under offers over there or off to the side. So anything from a uh, guide to Milton, which you can download instantly. It talks about prices, neighborhoods. Uh, there's also the neighborhood guide. Uh, we have a pinpoint price analysis, which is where you can get uh, a value for your house. If you want to be notified about sales, there's the Milton Price Report. Uh, room by room review will give you a sense of what you need to do in the house. Uh, even the highest return fix ups and improvements. Every home will sell as is, but I think you have an opportunity as a seller to double and triple your money tax free too if it's your principal residence. So it's a huge opportunity to make money when you're selling. Uh, what else? Listings by email. We've got the buyer class tons of ways we can help you out so uh that stuff like i said up there over there or just reply back to the emails let us know so let's talk about some listings so mckim gate is 499.9 it's 1357 square feet it's one of the largest original models of the village towns and there's stuff like there's one even in this list in dalhousie with no pictures and they're all listing for 550. This one is bigger than most of them and it's listed for way less. So this is a very, very attractive. I haven't talked about village townhouses for a while because there's just so many out there. And, um, you know, I think they, they, they were smart. I mean, nobody likes to kind of list lower and, but you know, in this game, it's like, this is a game of Thrones, right? I mean, you, you win or you just kind of perish and die and, and, and your listing goes stale and all the rest of it. Uh, granite counters, and they have the two bedrooms with the two full bathrooms upstairs. Uh, I think this is a really good one. One of the best village towns I've seen in a while. And uh, this is where prices are at because there's a whole bunch of them that are just sitting around doing nothing around the low to mid fives. They're just, no one's buying them. It's the right move. Now this one on Holland Heights, 658.9. I looked at this one, I go, why isn't it selling? Cause it's, it's got the nice nine foot ceilings. Like for a townhouse, I think it looks really nice. It's got uh, good finishes and uh, I think it's because this is the only living area in the house. And then you've got this kind of weird corner where you can't really put anything. And like I said, nice high ceilings here. It's going to look amazing in person. Uh, you know, even the iron pickets upstairs. Bedrooms are decent size. They're not massive, but I think for a townhouse, they're pretty big. Kitchen looks good. But that's it. I think it's a living area that's kind of holding this one back. But even that, I feel like it's not, this one's not that far off where it needs to be to, uh, to be sold, at least from what I'm seeing. Okay, so Powie Street, 759.9. And on the same street is one listed right now for 650. I think the intention with the 650 one is that it, they want it to sell for more, but they've kind of done that thing that's that's happening right now in the transition market. We're gonna put the price low, we're gonna get people in, and then we're gonna try and sell it for more. So this one here is a four bedroom, the other one's three, the other one has a different elevation on the outside, but $110,000 difference, a big deal. Uh, so there are some things that are better about this one. Although inside, I would say it's a pretty fair fight. There's not that much difference between the two. Uh, you know, the this is designed as kind of a family room, but they've used it as a dining and then done the, the family in the front. Uh, his and hers total gym. I bought mine for $50 on Let Go, and it's a great piece of exercise equipment. I've learned that there's certain things that you just don't buy new anymore. And exercise equipment is one of them because people always need to get rid of it. Uh, and decent landscaping outside too. So it's a nice quiet street. Uh, I think it's very street hockey friendly, uh, kids riding bikes. If you don't live on the street, you usually don't go on it. Uh, I just think there's a huge price difference here. And you know, 30 foot lot for a semi is, is pretty good. You can see how much separation is, there is between the two lots. Beaver Court, 799, offers any time. They were at 849, uh, trying to line up for offers. I thought 849 was a little bit steep, but these homes are very, very big. 
And you also have the income potential in this home, which uh, is something that I think is going to continue to be valuable for years to come. So looks pretty clean and tidy. There's your second suite downstairs too. So with the split levels, you can do some kind of creative blocking off of things. That's your door to the backyard and you probably have some kind of access from the garage coming down from this level here. And just bath fitters inside the washrooms, you get a decent sized lot. And you know, same thing on Beaver Court. There's a lot of homes here, but it, you, you don't really drive on it unless you live on Beaver Court. So there's, you know, reasonably low traffic. So next up is our new listing on Bennett Boulevard. And I did some looking into the schools uh, and my kids go to this school too. So Hawthorne Village Public School is just down the road. Uh, Guardian Angels is just up the street. Guardian Angels is ranked uh, just above the top 10% of schools in the province. And Hawthorne Village Public School is the highest rated public school in Milton. And a few years ago, it got ranked as the top 25 schools in Canada by today's parent magazine. So it's a good family friendly area uh, that the area now has kind of really solidified. There's great amenities nearby. You've got an east location. This is something that we don't talk about often too, is that you have, if you live over, you know, in Scott or Harrison to get across town in the morning can take you 10 minutes, 15 minutes more uh plus at night so what's a half hour with your family worth i think it's worth a fair bit uh the home is 2237 square feet what i like about the thistle bay model is it's got a separate living room separate dining room and this is an upgrade here to create some flow between the two rooms uh family room over here uh kitchen is kind of interesting because you have a dark uh, counter here, lighter counter here, a bit of a play on colors. You've got a nice backsplash. You've got the, uh, the upgraded hood, lots of storage space, pantry, pantry, lots of space here. Uh, upstairs, you've got hand scraped hardwood floors, big master bedroom, large ensuite, and two of the bedrooms have walk-in closets. Uh, the two front ones, and then this is kind of the middle one. So four bedrooms upstairs plus laundry, and then you've got you know a deck in the back. I mean nothing too fancy, but that's uh, that's the story on this one here. Uh, lots of living space. One of the largest detached single car garages that Madame's ever made. So all that 850 offers anytime. So Farrington Crossing, here's the thing. More photos coming soon. How about more photos now? How about when you list the home, get all the photos done? This can really kill momentum. I, I think, you know, it's a 3,000 plus square foot home, finished basement with uh, what looks like an apartment uh, or at least a kitchen downstairs. I think this is a big problem. I think like if, because what happens is a lot of people aren't aware of this. If you watch Daily Homes, you probably are, but it goes on the broker system first and then it migrates out to the public sites like Realtor.ca, Royal LePage, Remax, HomeFinder, all those places. If your photos aren't teed up quick and that, and that listing gets scooped by those third-party sites, it's going to show with little or no pictures. I like that there's at least a front shot compared to Dalhousie. Uh, if you check these links, they're updated in real time. But I just think it's worth almost delaying a day to have everything set and lined up. So that's just me. I think that when a home's listed, people will skip it if it doesn't have photos. It's not always the right thing to do, but it's what happens, especially in 2017. Used to be 10 or 15 years ago, people would say, well, I'll still check it out because they, there's not the same level of expectation uh, now, your first showing is online. The second showing is when they go see it in person. So there is the list for the day. We're going to close out by showing you a little clip of how the total gym works with Chuck Norris, greatest man alive. So have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow with more Milton Daily Homes. Hi, I'm Chuck Norris. The folks at Total Gym have asked me to take 60 seconds to tell you why I use the Total Gym. Well, I use it because it works. 
Well, that wasn't 60 seconds. This is what's great about the Total Gym. Works on all the muscles. You name it. Chest, arms, thighs, biceps, shoulders. And at the same time, it's working the gut. And also, you can fluctuate your workout. You can isolate the arms. You can elevate the machine to use whatever percentage of your body weight. I can take it around with me on all my locations. Great workout. Great exercise. Now, for the first time ever, you can try a Total Gym absolutely risk-free for an entire two months. You won't even be charged for shipping and handling. But believe me, it won't take two months. You'll be hooked on it the first time you try it. Call 1-800-939-9680. That's 1-800-939-9680.